Going to go for the sides? Yeah, they don't even care what side. I think they did the rock paper scissors. Actually, we yeah, they did. It. So JDCR opting for the first player side here. All mm -hmm. right, we talked about it before. What are we going to see from these players? Is yeah. it going to be what we saw at Combo Breakers? So a Combo Breaker a month ago. I don't these guys so. played. It was Armor King versus Geese. Yeah, I don't think that's what we're going to see at all this time. I think we're going to see something completely different. I bet my bet is that JDCR goes to Heiachi, and because of that, I don't know what we're going to see. You don't from think me. he's going to test Armor King first? I don't think he's going to test the Armor King. Okay. It didn't work at all last time. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, unless he's got something new with the Armor King specifically for that matchup, then maybe he'll pick the Armor King. I think I think Nii is not going to stray from the battle plan. He last time he won pretty convincingly with Geese Howard. I think he's going to go to Geese right away. Every time I've thought I knew something about Nia, I've been wrong. So I'm gonna say he's probably not gonna do anything that I expect him to do. Don't think that way. I'm 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 right half of the time because it's either yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty percent of the time, I'm yeah. right. What's what's going on? Is he calling for a blind pick? Oh, he is. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen, man. I mean, and with me, you know, it's not uncommon to see a blind pick. As we mentioned, character, the character pool from both of these players, pretty large. But from JDCR in terms, it's usually just one or the other, right? It's either Hayachi or the Arm King. Maybe he'll bring out the Dragon off. How crazy would that be? I don't know. I we'll would see. love to see that, though. It's so crazy because when he was using Dragon off, I want to see the Hiachi. Now that the Hiachi's back, I want to see the Dragon off, you know? I just like to watch this guy play with everybody. I just want to see explosives. Explosives? I want to see something happen. I want to see an amazing matchup between these two. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like we're ready. It looks like these guys are going to pick their characters. Yeah, they know what it is, but we don't just yet. I'm excited. I, 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 my eyes are locked to the character select screen. Yeah, oh man, he's gonna be Master Raven. <laughs> That's what it's hovering on right now. Yeah, it definitely is. I don't think so, right? JD starts hovering on that Armor King. Kind of what we, what you did not expect, but no. I think I think he's gonna try it out. It's a long set. you would have expected from It's him? a long, wait, wait a minute. My heart Knees on second place, I, I, I called it. Oh, I knew it, I knew man, it. Man, you called it out exactly? He locks in with Geese Howard. Man, the mind games. Whining fools be gone. This is a rematch oh, yes. from Combo Breaker. Running it back. I do think, though, depending on who wins, there's going to be a switch. I yeah, do, I do yeah. believe in that. But very high probability. All right, time for our winner's final. Rocks, Dragon's Knee versus OGN Esports JDCR. If you guys want me to take it, let me hear it. Hey, can I do this one? If you guys like OGN, JDCR, make some noise. Yeah. All right. Game number one. We're going to Howard Estate. Luck of the draw. That's like cheating, right? It's That's like home, home field advantage. <laughs> Man, I love this song. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'll destroy you all. So Geese Howard, probably one of the characters that has been terrorizing the TWT scene lately. And it's only proper that, of course, Lord Nee is using him as well. Damn, can we turn up the game volume? I want to hear that music. All right, this time just stuffing away, using the, the jabs, the pokes here, mm -hmm. kind of keeping JDCR at bay here. And that's the thing, JDCR usually excels in the up-close match. Yes. But very, very difficult for him to do so. Geese has so many tools that prevent the sidestep, that prevent movement. Prevent everything. Yeah, and he's always got to watch out for the counter hit low jab as well. And close to a meter already here, Nia is. Yeah, and he's got a huge life to start off here. Punishing the god with the tap. Oh, he almost had a counter hit there. And one coming to the high and the down two to close it out. And he's like, he's, he's continuing the set that we saw at Combo Breaker. Pure exactly. dominance in that first round. Yeah, that co that set of Combo Break was not a pretty set for JDCR. Oh, yeah. He was in total control. There's the back You know, they made it punishable now. Yeah, they and did. even a legend like JDCR can't punish it. You know why? Because it's crazy. It is crazy. I mean, you got to think about it. It's the mix-up or the non-mix-up. Right. What's going to happen, right? Especially when he's got a bar. So yeah. it's basically a nothing change. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it's it, it's been that case. Hill where he gets the follow-up here. This is going to hurt. Oh, he misses the combo. Doesn't get it. Kind of weird. Wall angle there. Yeah, I agree. And get the grab. Two rounds straight quick for Nii. Man, Nii is putting in work right now. JDCR is in big trouble. Might have to go oh. back to the drawing board. And the first time he pulls out the standing four, he's able to get it. The follow-up misses the combo, but doesn't matter. The reset's the opportunity. Yeah, going back the same way we were talking about with his Steve Fox, where he lets you get comfortable attacking and then brings down the counterattack. Nice hop kick from JDCR. Get wow. that max mode out of here. Gets the follow -up. All right, has another opportunity, but again, watch out. Nii is close to another meter. He might be able to build it up here and create another opportunity for extended damage. One more hit could do it all. Puts him into rage. Oh, oh that might be goodness. it. And oh the my! Throw again! Two throws on JDCR. This is this is rare. 
and a no round ground to go along with it. He's, he's going to switch. You think so? I don't think so, man. You don't think so? I think he's going to keep running back. He's at the character select screen. Why else would he go there? Take more time to figure it out. Oh, wait, he's changing some buttons. If maybe. he's changing buttons, he maybe, might be changing maybe characters. Maybe he just didn't change the buttons correctly the first time. You know, I don't know. He didn't have any punch buttons. Oh, no. <laughs> he, didn't have, he couldn't break the throws. He didn't have a throw break button. That was the problem. Oh, man, all right. Going right to the back to the arm king. Character select takes you a little bit more time, you know. Make sure you got it all set up correctly. He's thinking, thinking about the matchup. This is tough. You know, if you're in this situation, yeah, it's obviously, very tough. it's not only this set. It's the last set that they played. Armor yeah. King did not work out. Right. And, and you got to think, you know, taking your time between sets, think about it more. I mean, you've had a month since Cobb Breaker to think about the set more. But what's this, like, extra time we're really going to do for you? Well, that's the thing, too. Nii has a chance to also evolve his character. He's playing at a different tempo. He's playing at a different pace. With he's, he was so aggressive up close. Mm -hmm. It was it was very different from the last time they played. He's locked in the Armor King. Looks he like. has locking the Armor King back in. There's a lot of Armor King fans out there. I'm sure they're going to be happy to see more of it. But I'm sure they'd be happy if they saw him winning with the yeah, Armor King. Maybe. And maybe. we haven't seen that. I don't think he's gotten the game with his Armor King against uh, Knees Keys Howard. Not that I can remember, at least from the Master events. Anyways, we're going to go back into this matchup again. This is a race to three. Knee up already 1-0 in convincing fashion. Let's see how this adjustment's going to happen. We're going to Duomo di Sirio. Indeed we are. Game number two here. It was just, I mean, up close, knee dominated. He got throws. He yeah. kept them at the wall. So JDCR was stuck at the wall the entire time. It's, it's going to be tough. We saw one moment here where he got a hop kick. Threw a flurry of, uh, of mix-ups there. But that was really the only offense that we saw out of JDCR in the matchup. Now let's see what he's got here. Game number two. Goes with the back two to start it off here. Again, these guys playing up close, but look at me. Kind of changing the tempo around, not committing to the full down forward one. Whoa, God, but, that's mm -hmm. a different move. He's going to get the wall here. Let's see what kind of damage he does. Goes for the wheel Whoa. kick ender. He looking for counter with that down forward. Doesn't find it. Uh oh, it looks like JDCR thought about it. He's making some adjustments here. Kind of letting uh, Knee hang himself now. Oh, oh, big counter hit. Oh, yeah, this is looking much better. Uh-huh. Gets the follow-up here. One more hit can do it, hey. and there it is. First round of JDCR putting up a fight here. All right, that time cooled down Knee just a little bit. Might have been effective just for icing him. And that's the thing, too, is like sometimes players can be able to play at the, tempo, at, the at the same tempo throughout the entire set. JDCR making these adjustments here, forcing him to play his game now. There was the throw tech. And all that damage he's done so far was just with two walls and four. Now getting a little bit extra off of that 2 1. You got to watch out, though. A lot of things change once Geese has meter. Makes you a little bit more aware. You don't want to get hit by the knee. You don't want to get, you don't want Aaron Lee to wow. sidestep in certain things. Can't believe they changed positions there. Yeah, he tried to sidestep it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he gets the hit anyways. He tried to sidestep. Or oh, he tried to punish. He tried to do something, yeah. Oh, and that's, that's going to hurt. Lots of damage here. One mix up could do it. Goes with the low. Into the, oh, the cancel. Look at that. Tied up on rounds. Knee is still fighting back. JDCR getting a little risky. I like it. Okay, goes for the multi grab, but again, knee breaking it. No, sir. Uh huh. Jump into nothing. And it's just so scary right now. He does have meter as well. Trying to create an opportunity. Yo, keeping it real close right now. And as you mentioned, he's got that meter to work with. He can be so deadly. Wave, wave, while standing four from JDCR. Okay, able to use double roof again, had to use it. They just get him off him a little bit, maybe. Yep. They're changing it up, they're slowing it down up close. Yeah, so much just jab, single lockdown. Like, seeing what the opponent's gonna do after it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this stuff just hard to react to. I mean, not, oh, here we go, what's he gonna do? This he is the mix-up. Uh, look at that, he's just playing defensively, keeping me at the wall, looking for these opportunities, but he's not sidestepping. That's what he wanted. He wanted him to move right by the wall so exactly. he can get the wall stun. Nice duck in the standing forward that time, 10 seconds to go, JDCR's got the life lead. Knee has rage. He's gonna get beat if he lands a hit here. And oh, oh god, he's got the barber knocking oh, him. Oh, he went for the big time. blow. I like it. JDCR is now controlling the pace of the matchup here. It's looking really good for him. If he gets one more round, he'll be able to tie it up. Yeah, if he can slow it down and keep him out, that might be the answer here. That's crazy too, because the first time these guys played each other against when JDCR started using Armor King, JDCR ended up winning that match at Evo Japan. But since then. Knee has labbed up the character, of course, and made the switch to Geese in this particular matchup. Oh, Tombstone! Yeah, he planted him that one. Hey. JDCR looking to get a game here right now. Back to nothing. 
Dylan Mack will get the counter in on the down four. Oh, and that's big too. He caught him moving. He caught him doing something. Single move can go for Oki. Side step three. Oh, that's the thing. He's so dangerous by the wall. Look at that. Tied up. Oh, boy. Final round here. This is going to be big because Oh, yeah. You don't want to go down 2-0 no. against Nee, right? Definitely not. He's got it with this round. Nice punish there. He went for something big. Nee with the defense, though. Oh, they traded. Jam keep up from both players being very effective right now. Both of them looking for lows for either low players or blocks. Yeah, and this time, you know, JDC are kind of beating him to the punch. Always initiating here with the earlier poke. Oh, but that was big. He didn't confirm to the combo. Nice duck and hop kick from JDCR. Uh-oh, this is going to hurt. Uh-huh. Again, keeping the pressure, misses the knee on wake up. He wanted it blocked. Two bars for knee, final round. He's got to spend him. He's going to have to do something. He has a lot of resources here. He has him back to the wall. Down two, that this, might is be the this is it. This is it. And JDCR gets on the board. We're tied up, one apiece. All right, we got, we got ourselves a real match now. I think, I'm uh, pretty sure Nii is going to stick to his character. I think so. Nii has always been that guy that he sticks to. It. Mm -hmm. He learns the matchup. He wants to be able to excel in the matchup. And right now, going back to the same stage, not even going back to stage select. No, sir. Immediate run back. It's a good stage in general, though. Oh, yeah. Large got the walls, balcony break available for large stage downstairs. And again, no break on that throw. Look at that. He's, he's slowing down the tempo. Nii waiting for these opportunities now. Uh oh, goes for the multi nice break there. And yeah, JDCR, you know, he's so conservative with his move selection that it's going to be really hard to get JDCR to hang himself with like an error and input. Yeah, you try to get the knockdown there, not able to do it, but here, constricting the movement, using that down forward two again, now pushing him towards the wall. Beautiful. Sometimes, sometimes the only pressure you need is just movement. Sometimes you don't even need to attack your opponent. Nice alley kick, and now you can see the life man, these guys just keeping it close. Poke for poke along the whole way, and time again becoming a factor here. Yeah, are we going to get another timeout? What's going to happen here? There might not be enough time. Right now, the lead is with JDCR, but his back is to the wall. Yeah, but oh, my gosh. What a... Oh, Counter! my God. But can he kill in time? Yeah, he's Three, definitely going to get the lead. Arc. He's going to get the lead, though. He's got a range arc. Oh, my God. Right with one second on the clock. He's going to land this Rashomon. Either way, he's going to have the lead here. And he's just going to back up, and that's going to be it. Yeah, it's over. Beautiful combo and time management by me. That was a great sequence there. Able to close it out. Man, but can you imagine pulling out that reversal in that situation? What if he whipped? It would have been over. I can't believe he did the extra hit before the Rage. He's like, I got plenty of time. Then at least one second there. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a way to make it consistent, though. You got to get that jab yeah. right before the Rage. He did not want to mess it up, and luckily, he had enough time. There's the wheel kick, the follow up. Has him at the wall. JDCR looking to get this round. Wants to tie it up. Nice. But, but Nee pushing towards the wall. Gets the extension. Uh huh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, but he misses the Ripuken. What happened there? I don't know, but he left him out of range. Maybe he purposely left him out of range. Maybe, but I mean, you would think he'd want to get one more mix up at the wall instead of two more. Down two, get another one. Oh, the mix up. Down four and one or down two. 50 50. And Nee running away with game three right now. Oh, yeah, he does have a two round lead here. But you can't count out JDCR. He's been playing brilliantly so far. That last round was pretty much his until the last sequence there. Okay, again, going for those throws. I mean, they've been pretty successful, all things considered. Counter it down four again, picking up with another down four. Oh, yeah, he's starting to use the down four more. He's been fishing right, able to get that counter hit. Look at this follow up here, keeping him at the wall. Man, so much damage out of it. Homing attack. Don't go anywhere. Oh, my gosh. He has him there. This is bad for JDCR. He's in rage now. He's going to have to do something. One bar. No sign of Hopkins that time. Uh oh, this is bad. Yeah, very bad. The 50 50 is going to come to play down forward one or down two. There's a down forward one. Knee three rounds straight here. Taking the lead to win a final two to one. What is JDCR going to do? Is it going to be character select or is he going to stay select? Is he going to go to character select and just pick the same character? He's going to character select. But what character are we going to get here, Mark? What do you think? I think he should try it. I think he should try it. And you know what I'm talking about Dragon Off. No. No? <laughs> no. I don't know, man. I, I think the old man needs to come out. The old man? I think the old man needs to come out. I think that would good. Oh, man, it's it's still tough because it's still Geese Howard. It is. It's still Geese, Geese Howard. It's still Geese, man. It doesn't matter what character you use. JDCR is obviously thinking this through. Okay, whatever character he picks, he is locked into that character I'm so for the. I'm tempted to get the chance started, but I don't want to like chicks him again. You know what I'm saying? Like I just can't do it. I can't do it again. You can't do it because you're on commentary. You should. Yeah, you should I tell Tasty Steve to do it. You know? But oh man, going to that Armageddon, trying to lock it in here maybe.
thinking about it. He's just waiting to pick the costume. The chin scratch. What do I got to do? What do I got to do? This is, this is vital. I mean, again, as we mentioned, he is locked into whatever character he picks. He's going to have to attempt to win three straight matches with them. And that is a tall order. It's going to be hard. He's got to win two more games here. He looks like he's thinking oh, sorry, heavily. Two straight matches. About the Armor King, and he's going to lock it in. It's going to be Armor King for the rest of this set for JDCR. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. This is going to be tough. Yeah, thinking about what stage he's thinking between Arctic Snowfall or Forgotten Realm, and he's going to Arctic Snowfall, going for the infinite stage here against Geese. This is a popular choice against both of these meter characters, Akuma and Geese Howard. Yeah. So let's see if it pays off here for JDCR. I can't really say that Nia has gotten a lot of good wall damage out of Geese so far, though. Not so far, especially the ways that uh, the combos have been ending. But right. I, I don't think it matters. I mean, really, his goal is to kind of restrict JDCR's movement, and he's done that every single time. Mm -hmm. So let's see what wall happens Wall or no here. wall, even in the opening, right. he's always pushed him to the corner. So yeah, anyways. I don't think like, walls have been a huge factor in the set so far. But let's see what happens. Here we go. Two to one. Knee in the lead. Trying to get to that grand finals. JDCR is trying to stay on the winner's side of the bracket, too. All right. Starting it off here. In the snow. Again, back one, two to start it off here. And again, look at Knee already starting off using the down 4-2, trying to restrict his movement. But JDCR, this time playing a bit more aggressive movement-wise. Yeah, the wild stand, of course, is so effective. Multi-grab incoming. Oh, out of there. Yeah, able to break it. And, you know, we really, traditionally, we don't see a lot of risk here taken by JDCR. He doesn't use, utilize really any of the bigger lows, the lows that could get him a big counter hit combo. Yeah, that, that's what I think, that's what I don't like about his armor king, personally. It's just I feel like he doesn't take enough risks with the character. Yeah. He plays I mean, very it's compact. It, yeah, it, it's interesting to see. I mean, because uh, he could get a big counter hit against certain pokes that uh, that Geese is going for. Like sure. he could get a big counter hit down back three. He could get a huge combo after that. Does his like sidestep punch? Does that avoid the uh, the mix up? It, it can. Uh, the Jaken mix up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can. The back one plus four. Mm -hmm. That big. That right. Exactly. Yeah, it definitely can. It can avoid both mix ups. First round of JDCR multi grab again. I feel like he doesn't even go for that mix up. So that's the that's no. the tough oh, part, oh, right? Oh. Oh. Man Dang. to the back of the noggin. Again, both of these players fighting for fighting for a chance to get into our grand finals. Only one can make it though. Chop at the toes. I mean, the armor plated toes, really. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. He's got That's, a little spike on it too. Yeah, he's not afraid. I know scare, you know scare. Okay. Oh, the power crush. That was a smart attempt there. Just letting him know that the option is available. Oh, oh there it is. A big block of the down four. The first block of the down four we've seen so far. And JDCR looking good so far. Two rounds to zero on this infinite stage. Yeah, and you know, Nii taking that risk there. Got punished for it that time. It goes for the low jab again. This time, JDCR starting to use the jab more. Yeah, they've been going back and forth. But these wild 84s have been so effective for them. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of them. Oh, oh this time, a big counter hit. Is he going to go for the rip? Who can enter? No, he goes for that. The follow-up here into the running one, able to land again. Nice, gets the punish on the throw whiff. Yeah, full meter for knee now. If he can close out this round without spending bar, it's going to be very useful for him to close out the entire game with all that meter stocked up. But here we go, round four incoming. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him use a super here. There's a lot of opportunities for extra damage. Yeah, James are going for a lot of multi guys. Boom! Yeah, the big boot to the chest. Able to push him back. Again, trying to get the throw. He was able to get it a lot earlier on in the set. And this the time, tech, yeah. not happening. Defense tightening up for JDCR. Side step into the back three, two for knee this he, time. He threaded that one in so well. There's the follow up here. He does have two meters left. Yeah, he ducked the grab step, but no punch from knee. Just a little bit later on it. A little bit of hesitation seeping in. Oh, goes oh, for the toe oh. kick. Not able to convert to the Sunder, though. Again, this time knee with the lead. And he's still got two bars to work with. So even if he spends one, he can get another bar for the final round. Wow, he went for the back three that time. Didn't find it. Yeah, ankle cruncher, the follow-up here. He had an opportunity there. Didn't get the conversion to the hit. Yeah, no rage yet for JDCR with eight seconds on the clock. No time, but he did the down back three. He's got rage now, five seconds. 
Oh, so Dangerous hit a button. One second, and the jab keep out. Final round, set point for me to go to grand finals with two bars. Yeah, this is gonna be a tall order. JDCR is gonna have to play out of his mind. Right now, knee is in boot. control, but the big boot again catching him. Out of here. What a low parry. Here's a follow up kind of Okie. We see running one again, trying to reset the neutral. And that combo didn't do much damage. Spends the bar here. Maximal mix up available if yeah. he wants to go for it. But it looks like he just wants to chill. Yeah, it's funny because they both sidestepped after the cancel there, waiting for the opportunity to get it. Here we go. This is going to be more damage. Gets the running one. No, he goes for the Oki. Yeah, he's got a huge lead. 30 seconds, though. Lots of time on the clock with JDCR. Yeah, but There's it might not be enough. He doesn't have enough life here. One more hit could end it. Yeah, but rate. Anything can happen. What's but he gonna do? trying to close it out. One pixel left with Jake. And the down two going to take it. And me going to advance to the grand final. Three games to one over JDCR's Army Kick. Now JDCR going into the loser's bracket where he's going to have mm. to face the winner of our next matchup. But man, what a Ooh. set between those two. Knee really showing the dominance towards the end there. He's the man to beat right now, dude. Knee he definitely just is. unstoppable. You know, using so many different characters against so many different opponents. The Geese Howard has been his answer against JDCR so far. And that's it was so crazy, right? There's so many down fours ahead. JDCR only blocked one down four in the entire set. Yeah, and I mean, he did get punished for, I mean, but you got to think about it. All the choices that Nii made, the patience that he has to be able to break down someone's defense like JDCR. It's amazing. Yeah, and break down his offense as well, right? I mean, they were going back and forth, just checking each other's yeah. jabs, you know, down forward ones. And so many times in the round in that situation, which is down for one, down two, he always had the right read, the right decision there. Yeah. So, you know, JDCR's defense is not keeping up with Nii's offense in that situation. Yeah, and you know, Geese, not usually the most explosive offensive character, especially without meter, but he was able to do it with meter, without meter, with walls, without walls. Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. So shout out to Nii, of course, advancing to the grand finals, guaranteeing himself a top two finish here. He's also the combo breaker champion, so now trying to get back-to-back -back Masters championships here in America. That would be pretty impressive. That would be very impressive. And, of course, that's going to help him on the points leaderboard, of course, mm -hmm. especially leading into the other events that we have for the rest of the year. But let's get our next matchup. Oh. oh. I've just told, been told we're going to take a quick break before we get into the next match. So, guys, hang in there. We'll be back with some more Tekken 7 action live from CEO 2019. Hang in there.